So the, you're saying that the Gospel of Luke does not count as historical evidence? Yes, I'm saying that. Right, so it can tell us nothing about history? I'm telling you, there's more historians than only Christians, and you're telling me you only trust Christians By the way, in none of the people you mentioned are historians. None of them. A textual, a textual critic. Yeah, they're not historians. Certain belief does not require scientific evidence. Sure. You don't need to prove everything scientifically to have certain belief. History is not written by belief. History is all about belief. And what you're essentially saying is because we can't scientifically reproduce a miracle, that therefore miracles can't happen. That is exactly what I'm saying. And that is a fallacy. Of orthodox <laughs> There's no such thing. You're, you're either an orthodox Christian or you're not. Are you a Christian orthodox background? So you're not. So you're not a Christian. Then. So you cannot claim any heritage that is connected to the orthodox church. Like Shia, Sunni, Maliki, Salafi, different, you know, different currents of Islam. Same with Christianity. It's like the Orthodox Christians, the Greek Orthodox Christians, the Catholics, there's the Protestants, there's the Coptic But there are differences between the Greek and the Russians. There are, there are many differences. Neither, no, no Ukrainian can claim Ukrainian heritage that is connected to the church if they do not also claim Christ. No Greek, no Greek can claim the heritage of the Greeks that is connected to the church unless they also claim Christ. Because these cultures are built on Christ. And unless you acknowledge Christ as first in your heart, then you cut yourself off from your heritage and you can only claim it as a fraud and as a hypocrite. No, so because you can't so celebrate Christmas. Do you celebrate Christmas? Yes, I do. What do you celebrate at Christmas? I uh, have dinner with some friends. And that's what is Christmas the celebration of? I know what Christmas is the celebration of. Don't, what is it? Celebration of the birth of Christ. Right, so when you celebrate Christmas, are you celebrating the birth of Christ or not? Yes, I am celebrating the birth of Christ. Doesn't mean I believe in Christ. So you're, you're, you're celebrating the birth of someone you don't believe? Yes, I'm celebrating a cultural feast. No, what you're doing is you are hypocritically and fraudulently <laughs> celebrating. It's on, bro. It's you're hypocritically on, bro. and fraudulently celebrating a heritage that does not belong to you. That's most Ukrainians, right, Russians, and Greeks. Wait, 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 That's most, 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 most of us. Then most, most of us. Then most Greeks, let's, Ukrainians, let's and Russians I'm not are fraud. Bob, you're and you're and no, 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 Bob, celebrating Bob, Bob, Bob. something that does not belong to them. That I'm no longer Christian. I'm an agnostic. Yeah. I'm not Orthodox Christian. He is Orthodox Christian. No, I'm not. No, he's not. I'm, I'm, I'm you're agnostic. not. I'm agnostic. He's not Christian. So you, when you celebrate Christian Christ, Christ, you're not celebrating the birth of Jesus because you don't believe Bob, Jesus I'm celebrating a cultural oh, feast. Oh, Whose cultural feast? The My cultural <laughs> feast. No, 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 That's what yeah, you're this, celebrating. Okay, okay, okay. Bob, wait, wait, wait. Whose cultural feast? Do you want answers or do you want to interrupt and say your own answer? Right. Who, whose cultural feast are you celebrating? Yeah, yeah. This is a, a Christian bronze. feast. A Christian feast. It comes from and out of the three of us, who is the Christian here? You. Right. So you are fraudulently claiming something as your heritage that is not your heritage. This is, this Bob, is my Bob, heritage. Bob, this is a church. Bob, this, is, bro, bro, bro. this is a church. This is a church. That was this is so much of baloney, Bob. Ancestors. This makes no sense. No, no church. Our this is a bunch church. of no, You don't have to be Christian. Lies, you don't have to spread lies, the church in Russia. Lies. Our ancestors you got it wrong again. You've got it wrong. Georgia, got it wrong. In you got it wrong. Got it wrong. Got it wrong. And I'll tell you why you're wrong. Because when you become a Christian, you become a different ethnos. They weren't your ancestors, they were my ancestors. <laughs> they were my people, not your people. They were Greeks from Anatolia. But you don't become a different blood Do you think that they were only Greek Christians? Do you think that they were only Greek Christians? So you're talking rubbish? They weren't only. The soul, the soul. Oh, come on, exactly. guys. No, 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 exactly. It's not about the baloney, about the soul, no, the not spirituality. The baloney. Not the baloney. It's not 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 baloney. I am not the confused man who's celebrating the birth of someone no, who doesn't Bob, believe you can in. say it's confused you're or not. confused are you afraid of my answer is that why you're interrupting right go on <laughs> okay thank you thank you we're talking about answer christmas you. i will answer you. <laughs> i also christmas. my favorite feast my favorite uh, thing to celebrate is halloween all hallows right yeah. because i have uh, an Definitely excuse right. to go to central london with my mask now wait, let's one second, one second. Well, uh, i know, on. you, I know you want on. to interrupt but wait what just give me a few seconds halloween is a pagan 
Uh, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, let's 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 not get caught into that. No, it's not. That's a lie. That, that is a total myth. Sure. What, what is it based on? Christianity. Right. So let's actually talk about again because this is my point. These these people that claim to celebrate a Christian heritage whilst denying the Christian faith cut themselves off from Christianity and this is a perfect example. All Hallows Eve, All Saints Day is something that Christians came to celebrate to celebrate the fact that there are many saints that do not appear in the calendar like Saint Nicholas or Saint George or, or, or Saint Athanasius. So we had one day that we set aside to celebrate all the saints. It coincides on the same day. And the day that is celebrated by different churches is different. Christians don't all celebrate All Saints Day on the 1st of November. Christians in the East celebrate All Saints Day on a different day of the calendar. The Coptic Church celebrates All Saints Day on a different day of the calendar again. Which means this idea that Halloween, which actually, you're, the very fact you called it Halloween tells me you don't know what you're talking about, because that's All Hallows Eve, and the festival is called Hallow Mass, like Chris Mass. But because wait, one it can second, link one the second. I'm, I'm, landing, I'm landing, I'm landing, I'm landing, I'm okay. landing. Be fini let me finish, let me finish. In terms of the, the different celebrations of all uh, of Hallow Mass, the fact that they are celebrated on different days shows that it's not a pagan festival. Because the accusation that it's a pagan festival is something that is made from the argument about the pagans of Ireland. But the Coptic Christians in Egypt never encountered the pagans of Ireland. And so they created the idea of Halomas totally independently from European paganism. You have been lied to because you're a pseudo-intellectual who simply <laughs> trots out the latest cultural nonsense to make himself look intelligent look, on look camera. Look at this guy, look at this guy. This is the perfect example of SCDAW logic. See if the person agrees with you completely and without any, uh, you know, any trial of the argument and then humiliate the person as much as possible on camera so that your fanboys, the Christians, will say, Bob is our savior. He's the great man who brings strength to Christianity. There is no now strength my evidence. in this. Bob, now to listen. my argument, Bob, 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 Bob. now to my Bob, argument Bob, and my Bob, evidence. Bob, Bob, Bob. You can say, you can link whatever you want to Halloween, you can li link whatever you want to Christmas, which is, by the way, I admit it, it's a Christian uh, holiday, but I celebrate too. It doesn't mean I can't celebrate it. Just because I'm no longer wait, just because I'm no longer Christian doesn't mean that I'm no longer Ukrainian. Doesn't mean that my ancestors were not Christian. Doesn't mean even that I hate Christianity. All it means that I don't believe in it. What does it You're mean? You're linking all of that to, okay, so, to it. So, so it's let, just ignorance. Let, 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 let's just deal with it. Notice his counter argument Notice. was, you can link whatever you want, and then he just avoided everything that I said. What I pointed out to him was that his accusation that Hallomas is connected to a pagan festival is utter crap. It's an urban myth. And I used as evidence the fact that cops and Eastern Orthodox in the Middle East and in Eastern Europe and in Western Europe all celebrate Hallomas, the same festival, on different days. The argument that Hallomas is a pagan festival is connected to an argument about the pagans in Ireland. That the Eastern European Christians, the Middle Eastern Christians and the African Christians had no connection to. So clearly, Hallomas is a Christian festival. Now he said that he celebrates Christmas. Let's just examine this. What are you doing? What are you doing when you celebrate Christmas? Is celebrating Being a Christmas intellectual hypocrite? Yeah, you are. When, okay. yeah, when you when you celebrate Christmas, when you celebrate Christmas, we're coming from another pseudo intellectual hypocrite. When you're it's, celebrating you know, Christmas, planet. when you're celebrating Christmas, you're celebrating the birth of Jesus. You're not having a meal. You're not giving presents. These things are just cultural garnishes 
to the celebration of the birth of Jesus. If you are stood here today and think that you're celebrating Christmas because you have a family get together, get drunk and hand out a couple of presents, you're culturally ignorant. Bob, religion is a part of culture. You can fight against it, against it as much as you want, but it is a part of culture. And the culture, the, you know, the culture we're living in right now, the Western culture, is not only based on Christianity. In a great way it is. To a great extent it is, but it's not only. How do you celebrate Christmas? What do you mean how I celebrate Christmas? I eat, I have dinner. So his idea of matter to you? Say, because this is the point. People, cultural Christians like yourselves, are fraudulently and hypocritically claiming a heritage that is not yours. Who's not mine? And who are you to say that it's not mine? It's not yours. You can't say that because you are not the one to choose. You have cut heritage. Heritage is in blood, not in. Are you an ethno nationalist now? No, I'm not. Are you an ethno nationalist? So. The fact of the matter is, the Ukrainian, your Ukrainian ancestors that you boast of would have more in common with me than they would with you. No, they won't. Yes, they would. Because I would go to church with them and celebrate the liturgy. I'm still my father's son, even if my father is a Christian and I'm not a Christian. I'm still his son. It doesn't change a thing. It doesn't change that. No, not at all. So what are you saying? But in terms of the Christian thing, as every true disciple of Christ knows, when you become a Christian, your sense of the family goes beyond blood. Christ was teaching in a house, there were many people that filled the house and his mother and his brothers came to him. And someone said to him, your mother and your brothers are outside and they want to see you. And Christ said, who are my mother and my brothers? Those that do the will of my father. Which means that from a Christian point of view, family is not about blood. There's something that goes beyond that. It is about a spiritual connection. And every one of your ancestors that was truly a Christian would recognize that. They would oppose you and side with me. And that is why that they, that you have put yourself from that heritage. Right, Bob, so wait, 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 wait. wait. What about the ancestors before they converted to Christianity? They eventually converted, but they weren't always Christian. What about the other ancestors that came before them? Are they not my ancestors, Bob? Are you the one to say they're not my ancestors? Your point makes no sense. It's a point of a pseudo-intellectual such as yourself, and you're trying to insult me here on camera. I had a higher opinion of you. I had a higher opinion of you than of the Dawas, but apparently you're exactly the same as the Dawas. You're claiming a heritage that is not your own. You're the same as the Dawas. I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Where on becoming Christian Orthodox, the Ukrainians like the Russians, they didn't just uh, 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 begin to follow Christ, they also bought into Gre Greco Roman Byzantine civilization. So it's not just ethno nationalism, it's a whole civilization. A world, a world which had religious literature, philosophical literature, scientific literature. That's what they bought into. So it does overlap with ethno nationalism, but it doesn't it can't be reduced to one ethnos. Greek, it does Russian culture. Exactly. It was all culture and civilization. Would you, would you, would you, would you agree with me? This was Greek in in, in, in uh, Greek and Latin before although, it became Russian. Although it doesn't seem like you although, know. Actually, no, I do know although actually, it doesn't seem that. Do you agree with me that everything that we know of Plato, Aristotle, and all the Greek philosophers were preserved by the monks of the Christians? Initially by the Byzantines and then the actually the Syrians, the Syriacs, Syriac speaking Christians, then the Arabs, so Muslims, so it was and then uh, in a roundabout way the Western, uh, the Latin Christians. So they would you would you agree with me that the ones that the ones that overtook the Byzantine Empire from Justinian the first? Yeah, was the Christian church? You mean the ones they who became Christian. Who, who did? Who became Christian? The Byzantine Empire. Of course, yeah, they right. became Christian. Yeah. So yeah. The, oh, whole, the, the whole prism of history went through a filter of the Christian church. Which means that all of this heritage that you're talking about, the only reason why you know about it is because the church preserved it. The church ascribed value to it. Without that church's preservation, you wouldn't know about Plato. You wouldn't know about Aristotle. So, so, so the point is, my point is, my point is, my point is, 
My point is, yeah. my point is, oh, that when you fraudulently claim a heritage that isn't yours, <laughs> you don't have a showing, this, is, this, is the 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 most, this is the heritage you're of most you're Ukrainians, Ukrainians, Russians, Georgians, you don't Greeks, have a point and Russians. Yet. You're and showing a cognitive, you're co showing a cognitive <laughs> disconnect. Because what you're saying, you're, you're, you're saying is, I'm agnostic, but then you aren't allowing that to inform the rest of your life. What you're saying is, I don't have to I'm agnostic to value my heritage, my culture. Whose culture? Whose heritage? My ancestors' culture, my ancestors' heritage. The, you mean the, 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 the one that's 2,000 years Christian? It's not all about Christianity. There were things before Christianity. The one that's 2,000 years Christian? Well, less, less than 2,000 years, but okay. Yeah. No, fair enough. Okay. Fair okay, enough. Yeah. You got, yeah, okay. Fair point. Okay. Fair point. Nomin in many cases, I would say most cases, nominally Christian. It was about civilization. It was political expediency. It's not because they That's all believe. It's not because they all believed in Christ. I think you're projecting even, modern Greece onto even, past Greece. Even, even, even. Brother, you need to speak to this guy. You're yeah. Greek. He's Greek. No, but I'm a different need, kind of Greek. I'm yeah, a he's a he's a believing Greek. Yeah. Yeah. He's, oh, he's a real Greek. He's, Greek. he's, he's a real Greek. He's, he believes. he's someone who's claiming enough, Greek heritage I'm whilst denying their Christian. Christian. I'm not a Greek. Amen. Amen. But I'm of mixed. I'm of mixed. I'm of mixed Greek Macedonian, Caucasus Greek, and Ossetian, which is not Greek. They, they're they're many Greek. Another way to be Jew, brother. What, I'm ethnic. What is your nationality? British and Greek. But ethnic origin is my ethnic origin. He doesn't believe. He's an agnostic. My ethnic origin is not. But he's claiming. He's, he's claiming Greek. Christmas belongs to him. Greek. He's claiming. And by the way, claiming Easter and, belongs and just to him. Just a second. This guy. He's claiming Christmas belongs to him. No, 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 no. I never claimed it belongs to him. Just doesn't. Just doesn't belong. I can celebrate it. Just to touch on this point. Just I'm celebrating a cultural feast. What are you celebrating? Not a religious feast. What are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? Religion becomes part of culture. It doesn't matter if I believe or not. You're, you're celebrating but the icing open your, on the cake but rather but than the cake brain itself. Out of the Bible okay. and think you me celebrate. For a someone who looks at the cobwebs you and goes, "You your brain with the Bible, no, bro. No, you bro. make no sense. No, you're saying we Let have the no people right decide who makes past sense because we're no longer Christians. And we know our sense. history. And we studied our history, and you who's probably history? don't know and that Bob, much. Bob, Bob. Ukrainian history. Ukrainian yes, Christian Ukraine. history. Not only Christian. Yeah. Oh, that was history before how, Christianity. How long has Ukraine been Christian? You make no sense. How long has Ukraine been Christian? I don't know years. the exact amount of years. Now let's say a thousand years. years. Let's say a thousand okay. years. Okay. So, the history before that. The history before that. Who preserved that? Who preserved that? You know, not every Ukrainian was a Christian. Not every person Never. who preserved the history was a Christian. Evidence. But with your argument, with your argument, you're also defending Islam. Because Muslims also preserve history. Yeah, you know, no, you, 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 I know you can't follow an argument. <laughs> Thank you for your history. I know you can't follow an argument. You don't understand that you're defending the Muslims. You're defending the Muslims. You're just throwing things together. The point of the matter is, you're saying that you're celebrating Christmas when you have a meal and that means that you're celebrating Christmas. That's like me saying, that's like me saying that I've gone to a music gig if I play a CD. Right? The, the reality is that Christmas and the celebration of Christmas is celebrating a specific thing. It's celebrating the birth of Jesus. Now, how you do that, whether you do it by having a meal, or wearing fancy clothes, or going to church, or whether you fast, you know, well, not, not, not you would fast, but whether you would sit and pray, or read the Bible, all of those things, all of those things are simply the trappings of culture. But the real driving force of culture are what things you ascribe value to. And when people set a day aside to celebrate the birth of Jesus, they are ascribing value to the event not to the means of celebrating the event. And the problem with the, the, the cultural Christians... I never called myself... No, you're right, you didn't. You didn't, that's unfair. You're right, you didn't. The problem with your position is that what you're saying is, because I have a meal on a particular day, means that I'm celebrating a culture. You're not. You're just celebrating having a meal on a certain day. I have a day with some of my friends. So what are you celebrating? And what are you what are you upset about? You seem to be very worked up about it. Was Jesus born? I don't know if the How can you not know?
I know this is triggering. I know this is triggering. I know this is triggering. Do we have evidence? I know this is triggering. Do we have evidence that Jesus existed? 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 Do we have evidence that the man called Jesus existed? Thank you. Therefore, is it logical? Is you it logical in? to believe that that Jesus who was crucified was born? It doesn't have to be the same Jesus who was it? Is it logical that the okay. Jesus who was, was Jesus crucified born was from a virgin? Born? Was Jesus born from a virgin? I believe so, yes. Is it a historical fact that he was born from a virgin? It is my belief he was born That's from it. a virgin. That's it. That's the difference. What no, are you one doing One second. Here? You're trying to one humiliate second. the camera. One you second. can't do that, Bob. One You're second. not good enough for One that. second, bro. You are trying to say, you have stated on camera and everyone heard it. You said that, that you're not sure if Jesus was born. not the Jesus you believe in. Do I believe in a Jesus that you was crucified? You believe in a Jesus that was born from a do virgin, goddammit. Do I believe, do I believe that Jesus... I can't have a historical what, argument. What Jesus do I believe in? doesn't believe in basic what biology. Do I, what do I believe in about you Jesus? You believe in the Jesus that was born from God and from a virgin. Correct. Correct. What else is do that I believe in? Fact? What else is do that I believe in? Fact? Yes. What else do it I is. believe in? That's it. End of what discussion. Else? It's right. not a discussion. Why is it not? Why is it not? Where, which historic book says How do we that establish historical facts? Historical documents. Historical documents. Actually believe. I have historical documents. Oh wait. Oh oh. Yeah. Notice the qualification. We establish historical facts from historical documents, but then he says, but only okay, believable yeah, historical documents. I can let you chat me. Right. So now let's come back to it. How do we establish historical facts? We need to study history by actually believable documents. We need to believable study documents. Who decides what's believable? Who decides we need to what's take believable? Take a look at many different sources and check out what they say and see who which decides one of them what is believable. More believable. Historians who decide. decides what Historians. is believable? Historians decide what is believable. There are Christian historians who believe there in the virgin Christian birth. Historians. Yeah. And there are also Muslim historians that believe in the virgin birth. That don't believe in the virgin Muslim birth. Muslim historians that believe in virgin birth. Yes, they believe in the atheist, virgin birth. Atheist historians that believe in the virgin birth. There are, no, what I said was there are Muslim and no atheist historians. Well, maybe if you shouted less and listened more, you'd hear no. what I said. You're the one to talk. So, he's, we've got atheist historians who deny the virgin birth, Christian historians who believe in the virgin birth, and Muslim historians who believe in the virgin birth. So therefore, your argument, your fallacy, is to appeal to this group called historians. But the reality is that those historians are divided in their opinion. You've committed a fallacy, the fallacy of appealing to an authority. The reality is that if that authority has a divided opinion, you can't use them to establish your argument. All we have is that there are historians who believe in the virgin birth Let's see if I can and historians fellas. who don't are believe in the virgin birth. Are historians real historians? What you're really are, are they historians? Yes, they are. They are? Yes. That's absolutely. It. Then no, your what argument you're makes no sense. No, what you're trying to say is... <laughs> what they say, what the atheist let the people decide. say, is that oh, the people decide. What, okay, yeah. let's the people what, decide. What let's you're trying to say, decide. what you're trying Bro, to say... Bob, give me one historian. What you're give trying me one to say... One book that you're trying to say... That's trying to accepted say, by historians that says Pablo Jesus Christ was born The Gospel of Luke is accepted by many Christians. Give me one book. One historically accepted book. Just one. The one mention. Brother, one mention, mate. brother. Can't. No, listen, exactly. Listen, because you're full listen, of shit, brother. Man. Brother, Stop listen, listen to me. You're, you're, trying to to you're trying to say, you're trying to say, right? The, the truth. We've got these historians; they have an opinion. But then, what you're trying to subtly introduce is the idea that only the opinion of atheistic or agnostic historians of valid. Ah, there we go. So now it's not about being a historian. Now it's about being the right kind. Of historian. No, 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 That's no, no, what you're trying to say. It's what they write in the I'll give you a, I'll give you, I'm just trying to think of the Bob, name now. you told me just there is not one Bruce Metzger. There we go. Not one historically Bruce Metzger. accurate book Bruce that accepts that Jesus was born by from who? a virgin. Decided by you who? You make no sense. Bob. Decided by you who? Cut your losses. Decided cut your by losses. who? Great rhetoric. Great rhetoric. Now answer the question. Decided by who? Historians. Which historians? The Christian ones? It doesn't matter which historians. 
It does not historians have the mental capacity. They have the mental capacity to not bring their personal faith into there are actual Christian facts. Christian you know what I mean? You there don't are seem to Christian share that though. Historians. You always need to bring your personal feelings and personal faith into facts and distort the facts. There are Christian historians who believe in the virgin birth. You keep appealing to historians, you can and then tell me I one say, example of an accepted book, of a history book, where it says Jesus was born from a virgin. Bruce Not Metzger. One. Bruce Metzger. Is it actually accepted? By who? Jesus was born by who? By other historians, man. Yes. No! The Christian no, historians! You're insane! Nobody accepts that a person can be born from a yes, virgin! Yes, they do! No, they don't! They're crazy! Yes, they do! And not just Christians! <laughs> Muslim historians do as well! According to who? You don't bring God according in to who? No, Bob, Bob, Bob! According to who, Bob? Bob. <laughs> according to actual historians! historians. What? You mean, so what you say, you go, so what you're trying to say is that any Christian historian is not really a historian. You want to know any Muslim a Muslim historian is not really an historian. Virgin. Give me a real historian. Wait, you want to know? Give me a real according historian. According to who? Is that your question? According to who? A man can't be born from a virgin. Is that your question? My question. According to doctors, man. I, I will speak to I, doctors. I will quali I know lots of doctors who believe in the virgin birth. Sure, sure, I know lots sure. of doctors who believe in the virgin birth. And they have never seen a birth from a virgin. Brother, once they have experienced it. You have just they claimed, claimed their medical you've schools. Claimed your you claimed your fallacy again. You've claimed your fallacy again. Let me explain why the fa- let, right let, let, let me explain. He's getting you, he's getting you. Bob, Bob, let me explain. He's, he's let me explain. Let me explain. Go ahead. The fallacy of authority is this. When someone says to you, doctors say that there can be no virgin birth, or historians don't believe in the idea, in the idea, in the idea of um, the virgin birth. The problem, the problem with this fallacy is that invariably in those authorities you will find different camps. You will find Christian doctors. I know them personally. I know more Christian doctors than he does. People who are GPs, surgeons, people that work on the brain, they're brain surgeons. These are my friends and they believe in the virgin birth. So appealing to doctors is a fallacy. I know Christian historians who believe in the virgin birth. So calling and appealing to virgin, uh, sorry, not virgins, according, <laughs> appealing to historians as if they're one block of people is a fallacy. And that's what he's done. He's repeated the fallacy twice. Of course, of course. He's, a, he's appealed okay, to this, this from of historians. a different perspective. Let's approach this from a different perspective. Let me ask you right, a Now that, now that you question. can't appeal to historians, no, 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 Bob, Bob, and now that you Bob, can't you appeal to doctors... anything of what I said. Oh, yes, I did. Think, so. Now let's think about this for a second. Why do you think that people don't bring religious beliefs into history? They do. They don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. That would mean that history for the Muslims is completely different than history for the Christians. Correct. Completely different from the history of atheists. Correct. We can't function like that. We need to accept one history. Whose history? The one dictated the by you. The believable history. Believable according to who? According to reason. According to medicine. Ah, according to science. There we go. Reason, yeah, medicine, in science, and guys. science. Believe in Bob. Believe right, in Bob. hold on one second. Hold on one second. There are many philosophers who are Christians. There are many scientists who are Christians. And there are many doctors of medicine who are Christians. So his appeal to reason, science, and medicine is once again a repeat of the fallacy of appealing to authority. That is the bait. This is why you're a pseudo intellectual. Because you appeal to authorities to make yourself look clever. Without, you appeal to the greatest authority, without, to God, without ever knowing this authority. And you're calling me a hypocrite. Look in the mirror, bro. Let me just you deal with that. You appeal to God all the time. You don't know God. You never spoke to God. You believe in a book that was written thousands of years ago that you don't know if it's if it's. I do the know same, God. And you believe in the creature. I have you never saw. spoke to God. You're crazy. You're there crazy. you go. I'm crazy. No, you're crazy. I'm crazy. If Why? You spoke to According God, to who? You're crazy, man. According to you're who? Crazy. According to me. I'm I'm there we go. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm saying is where this, is this boils down to. This man is crazy. Pavlov just has his own opinion. And then he tries to present it and by what do saying you have? My opinion the is based historians on, science, on history and on who's medicine. Science? What is your opinion who's based on? Who's science? What is your opinion based on? My opinion. What is it based My on? My opinion. 
is backed up by Christian scientists, Christian doctors of medicine, Christian historians. Focus on Christian. Christian philosophers. Only Christian. All the Christians. Only Christian. Christian. Only Christian. That's, Christian. Yes, that's who back me up because I'm a Christian. So no, so, other, no other philosophers. No, I'm not. I'm not saying there aren't other other philosophers. No. I'm not saying there aren't other scientists. Yeah, I'm not them. saying there You're aren't saying other groups. I'm just saying that the ones that back me up are the Christians. Why should I trust your scientists now, the point more that than I'm my scientists? You. Exactly. Why? Thank you. Why should I do that? Why should I Thank trust you. them? Thank you. Right. Hold on one second. Let's deal with that. Because now we've established the fullness of your fallacy. Because. You try to marshal an argument by appealing generally to historians and then we discovered that there are Christian historians that agreed with me. Then you shifted your argument to appeal to doctors of medicine and then we discovered that there are Christian doctors of medicine who agree with me. Then you shifted your argument to appeal to reason and then we discovered that there are Christian philosophers who use reason who agree with me. So in every appeal to authority, we find that it is not simply the case that universally every historian, doctor of medicine and philosopher agrees with you. But you simply trump give that out as a lie. About how a virgin can give birth to a man. Yes, they do. They do. They don't deserve to be doctors. They don't know basic medical facts, man. This is insanity. This is why, this is why we don't have a religious Pavlov. government. Because Pavlov. of not cases like I promise this. you. A man can be Pavlov. born to a virgin. I promise on, you, Pavlov. You need to separate. I promise you. I promise you, Pavlov. I promise you. I promise you, Pavlov. I promise you, Pavlov. When you are ill, you will not care whether the man operating on your illness is a yeah, Christian or not. But the fact of the matter is, there are many Christians who are working in the medical field. So your argument that these doctors who have studied for seven years and more, these are my friends... Because you're lying! They don't spread this information! Yes, they do! No, they don't! Yes, they do! They evangelize just like I do! If they spread news about, yes, a man can be born from a virgin, they would lose their license, they wouldn't be able to be doctors. They don't do it in you the hospital because that would not exactly. be professional. Thank you, finally! No! Thank you, Jesus. Hold on one second. You finally accept it. They no. don't, they separate Pavlov. them. Pavlov, Pavlov, Go ahead. Pavlov. The reason why they separate them is because the state tells them to. Oh, the they evil don't state. do the it because state. they want Doesn't to. Doesn't let them uh, lie to their kids. No. Lie to the students. Pavlov, Pavlov. The difference between you and me is, is I know 20 medical Christians, you don't. Congratulations. Right, so that means when I am talking about what they tell me, I'm speaking from first-hand witness, you're just talking crap opinion as always. Of course, of course, of course. Now, Thank the, basics, the basics is, my friends who are doctors, my friends who are brain surgeons, my friends who will be the people who try to cure your cancer, and try to cure your eye disease, and try to cure the other ailments that you go to with, they do want to tell you about the virgin birth. They do want to tell you about Christ crucified and Christ resurrected. It is the state that stops them. That is all. The evil state. Yes, the evil state. The evil state. The antichrist state, yeah. I have nothing else to say to you, man. You're agreeing with because the jihadi government broken. in Iran. I you're agreeing with religious governments. I you don't think that religious doctrine should be taught in schools. Yes. That's terrible. That's horrible. According to who? It's a hundred steps back into According the Middle Ages. To who? Bro, look at the Middle Ages. The Christian word of ages. God Christian was ages. being used Christian as ages. law. Ages. What happened then? Middle Ages. What happened was universities were established, hospitals were established, schools were established, science developed. Universities were established by the Romans. Most universities no. that were established by them no. got destroyed, man. They were schools. By the Arabs not, first, before the not, Christians. I am yeah. not denying. I am not denying that every civilization has means of education. But the university, as we understand it in Europe, was established by a church, and that is just a fact. Please tell me you're joking. Please tell me this is a big I'm really prank. Not. This is a big prank. No, right? We already know you, you don't you, know history. Bro, we already know that you, you, you appeal can to say, look, look, you can keep saying that I appeal to fans. You think I celebrating history. Christmas is just having a meal a with fact. your friends. Your Christian fanboys might say, oh, Pavlov, he's the Antichrist, he's trying to confuse us. I don't no, think they would Pavlov is trying think they to help you by because what? you're trying to persuade people to believe to a in a bunch of baloney. According to who? stuff that doesn't work. According to who? Bro, you. Bro, that's Bro, all you've got. Basic medicine. Basic medicine. Yeah. 
No, there has not been one example in medical history where a man was born from a virgin. Yes. Do you agree or disagree? Well, in terms of medical history. Medical history, yes. Medical history. Recorded medical history. Um, actually, hold on one second. Actually, actually this hold on. Christian guy. One second. You know about artificial insemination? So I think, I might be wrong, but if I am wrong, it'll happen soon. I think there was a woman in America that, who was a virgin who had artificial insemination, which means that she was a virgin and she's pregnant and giving birth to a child by the Holy Spirit. No, you didn't ask that. You said, give me an example of someone born to a virgin in medical history. Okay, sure, you win, you win. By the Holy Spirit. Oh, now you want to change it? No, I want to add now more you stuff. Now you want to change No, listen, Bob, Bob, Bob. I was giving you the example of the Virgin Mary getting impregnated by the Holy Spirit. So, I was assuming, are you asking? I was assuming you would accept both those premises in what I'm saying. Both gets pregnant and both by the Holy Spirit. Now okay. you decided to omit the Holy Spirit. Fair well, enough. My fault. There my go. fault. Be I didn't specify. Yep. Now I'm specifying. Okay. Are there medical records of somebody getting pregnant by the Holy Spirit? No. Thank you. Does that prove that it's impossible? It proves that it's you know? impossible. Yes. Oh, it as proves. As our right. knowledge goes for now. So you're, you're, now you're appealing to yet another fallacy. Did, because we didn't discover any Holy Spirit. You're, no, we can't go babies. You're appealing to no, another no, no, fallacy. No, 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 bro, I'm not appealing to anything. You're appealing I'm to a, no, listen, to name listen, the, listen. the fallacy and explain it. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Just like play we clever, have. Play clever. Just like that, there's only one way to play in this game, and that is clever. And if you can't play clever, maybe you need to get out the ring. Sure. So in terms good of one, good in one. terms you're of the fallacy, in terms of the fallacy, we've already seen that Pavlov appeals to the fallacy of authority. Yeah, we've all seen that that lie. Yeah, sure. No, you appeal to the fallacy. Of authority. A fallacy. What is a fallacy? Is it a lie? Let, 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 us, let us just be clear. Let us just be clear. Just be clear. I'll let you be. I'll let you right? Yeah. Right. Uh, Pavlov appealed to the fallacy of authority and we demonstrated that. In other words, he appealed to an authority, historians, doctors and medicine, as if they were one group in total agreement. That is the fallacy of appealing to authority. I've never said that they now, all agree. Now, now, yes, a bunch of now, now, facts. now, by who? By who? By historians. By historians there you go, he's doing it again. Which historian? Okay, the Christian historians agree with me. Trust about history. It's not the historians. I would trust the Christian, Christian historians. Christian, exactly. Yes. That's a much smaller amount of people. According to who? It. According to everyone. Uh, well, everyone. Pop. Now he's appealing to the fallacy of everyone. According to logic. Who is this everyone? Okay, Pavlov? I will prove right now that this man is, is this trying Pavlov? to lie to the audience. Bob, who is this everyone? Wait, 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 wait. Are there more? Are there more yeah. uh, historians than Christian historians? Uh, no. There are, there are no more historians than only Christian historians. I am not aware of any, I am not aware of any historian that's not a Christian. I am not aware of any statistical analysis as to the faith of historians. But since the nature of religion is a historical exercise, the average Christian layman is practiced in the study of history to some level. Well, don't commit suicide like this. Come on, you're committing ideological suicide. Well, show me your stats that break right, down me show how many historians are atheists and how many historians it's a logical are stats. I know you have difficulties with logic, so pay attention. Go on, well, well, you know you do. So, go on. Exactly, exactly. Very good, very good. Very good comeback. No, you. So, let's think about it for a sec. You've accepted previously the fact that there's historians beyond Christian historians. Not yeah, now, of course, because it will ruin your art. Now, I asked you. Are there more historians, like Christian historians, I said, and only a part of all the historians? You accepted that there's more historians than the Christian historians. That means that automatically you're contradicting yourself because you're saying that Christian historians are not only a part of historians. Do you understand what I'm talking about? What I, we're, we're gonna hold on one second. In terms of what I am saying, I am not aware of any statistical analysis no, I, as to I, I, the I, I, number I, I, of historians I, I, and what their faith is. You don't need to. On appeal to the study of history as if it disproves Christianity. No, it Christianity. doesn't disprove Christianity, but it doesn't prove Christianity. And you're claiming one that only one truth, that the Virgin Mary gave birth to the Son of God, is the real truth. One and that's not what actual history one second, says. One second. Here's the other fallacy that you use today. You use the, si the, the argument from silence. You're saying that because in medical history, and I agree with you, we have no evidence of another virgin birth in medical history. But you're saying that because of that fact, that that means it is impossible to have a virgin birth. Yeah, considering the knowledge that we have nowadays, the medical knowledge. That, that's utterly rubbish. No, it's not. Because there was a, a time and a place when we didn't have the knowledge of flight, but now we have the knowledge of flight. It might be possible in the future, but we don't know the about reality, it yet. With the reality, but what I'm saying is, is history doesn't, doesn't mean it's impossible. You. It you, have argued that, you. you have argued that it is impossible. 
far as we know, yes. No, 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 no. Brother. But I can't fly Brother. without any addition to Brother. my body. Brother. But maybe in the future you humans will be able you to use their sight to Brother. fly. Is that, cannot, is that true? Is that true? No, no, you're false. That's not true. Yeah, okay. You're not making a rational argument. I, I give up. Yeah, you're saying that because we have no evidence of something, that that something is impossible. As far that as we is, know, yeah. That is utter nonsense. You cannot argue from silence. You cannot say, because we have not observed something through a particular spectrum, and in this sense you're using the scientific spectrum, that that means something is impossible. Because what that predicates is the idea that only that which is scientifically observable dictates truth. And we know that that is a logical fallacy. No, listen, Bob. That I is a logical listen, fallacy. No, 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 no. And let's be clear. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm saying for now we don't know about it, so we can't assert that that's how it is. And let's what be you're clear. doing is that it's doing this. It's doing the opposite. It's saying we don't know it, so it is like that. I'm saying we don't know. It, no, so it's probably I, no, not like that. I do not really. I do not reduce. You only believe Pavlov. in the Christian history. Pavlov. You admitted it. Pavlov. Correct. Pavlov. I do not limit my epistemology. Yes, you do. You only believe in the Christian Let me finish. Let me. You didn't listen to the sentence. Go ahead. If you listen to the sentence, you might hear what I'm saying. I do not limit my epistemology simply to the scientific method. The scientific method was born within the church. It is part of my heritage. It is part of my epistemology, but it is not the fullness of my epistemology. First of all, it wasn't born in, born in your church. Uh, actually, it was. No, of course we need a very diet. It was, but let's go. The, fir the first writing down of the scientific method you find within the writings of Francis Bacon. Sure, congrats. The specific he was a name, Christian, by the, the way. specific so name of scientific method. Were there no scientists before? Of course there were. Thank you. But the That's scientific it. method is okay. We the book, the, the, what is the scientific the method? Thing, the thing called the scientific method what is was scientific written method? by Francis Bacon, sure. What but is the scientific no, 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 method? Let, Bob, let's not what deviate, is the scientific let's method? Not deviate the conversation. What is the scientific let's not method? Deviate the conversation. Yeah, no, you just made a claim. What is the scientific method? It's knowledge it's through experience. Like no, it is yes, knowledge through it. falsification. What do you mean through falsification? It's scientific a, method. Knowledge no, you have a theory and you try to disprove the theory. And the more you cannot disprove the theory, the more likely you can't the theory is to, tr to be true. No. And you do this through repeatable no. control. No. You realize the ridiculousness of the situation right now. And that I'm was a Christian you, no, development. Listen, I'm telling you, there is no proof of this thing. And thus, it's safe to assume that it's not true. You're saying there's no proof of this thing. And thus, it's safe, safe to assume that it is true. There is evidence. Makes no sense. There is historical. evidence of the opposite. There because is it has evidence. never been, uh, has there never is historical been evidence of the virgin but birth. Are, are you using there naturalistic? Is medical history. There is historical evidence of the virgin birth. Are, are you using naturalistic? Hold on, Adam. Uh, no, this is the question. There is are you using, are using medical records we have nowadays in modern history? But, but the no medi one, the no medicine one that existed back then is not perfect. Sorry, People made mistakes. Sorry, 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 sorry. There is historical evidence of the virgin birth. Agreed or not? No. Right. So the, you're saying that the Gospel of Luke does not count as historical evidence. Yes, I'm saying that. Right, so it can tell us nothing about history. So historians don't go to the Gospel of Luke to learn about what happened about the life of Jesus. They don't do that. Bart Ehrman doesn't do it. Bruce Mesker doesn't do it. Dr. James White doesn't do it. Do uh, none of these doctors, none of these studiers of first century history, none of them go to the Gospels to learn about first century Palestine and the life of Jesus. They don't do that. Bob, listen, I don't care if Christians decide to look Bart into Ehrman's their religion, Christian. decide to look into their religion as history. Bart Ehrman's not a Christian. Listen, Bob, here we are. The point is, I'm telling you, there's more historians than only Christians, and you're telling me you only trust Christians. By the way, in none of the people history. he mentioned are historians. None of them. <laughs> textual, a textual critic. Yeah, they're not historians. It, look, and textual it criticism is a form of history, Adnan. You know that. It doesn't that. even matter whether they are or not. Your arguments hold no power, no weight. So it's philosophy. All you're doing is assuming because you assume there's God, and you assume everybody else will assume that. No, well, you can't do that. What I'm you, saying you're, is, you're calling you're me some fallacy. You're someone. You're, you, 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 you are doing repeated fallacies. Fallacies. You re repeated fallacies. You, you are, you are appealing to the idea of evidence within one spectrum, and you're saying that unless it appears in this spectrum, it doesn't count as evidence. I am saying there are other forms of evidence. And the historical testimony okay. of the Gospel of Luke is a form of evidence okay, to okay, the Virgin okay. birth. Now let's let's see it this way. Imagine that I worship the devil. I, I'm a devil worshiper, whatever. It's not difficult to believe since I came with You don't believe in the devil. So it's unlikely to believe in No, I don't believe in the devil. But let's imagine for a second that I do believe in the devil, that I worship the devil. And I, I bring a new history 
that needs to be considered. Yes. I say that the devil created the world yes. and your gods, all of these gods, Allah, Jesus, Yahweh, they're all fakes. They're all a bunch of weaklings like yep, yep, yep. compared to the devil. Yep. Do you have to automatically, automatically believe in what I say to consider it as true, even though I don't have any proof of it? So let's look at that because we've got a perfect example of that here in the park. We have claims about the life of Jesus from Muslims and Christians. Oh, yeah. And you don't make any claims because you're agnostic. So we have different claims about the life of Jesus, whether he was crucified or not. We can test those claims by looking at the evidence, by looking at the historical sources. And yes, yeah, the religious texts. Can I, can History. I question? No, Adnan, you can't. Look, short, no, no, Adnan, you can't. Bob, Bob, you don't need to. Adnan, I'm talking to Pavlov, not to you. Bob, Bob, Bob. You don't want to talk to you, mate. I'll come find you. You don't read to Enuma Elish and decide to speak about Sumerian history. You can tell when, their culture by reading Enuma Elish. One second. You, you one second. Pavlov. Right? When, we have, when we have two claims about a single event, we can examine the other extraneous evidence to decide which of those two claims is true. Would you agree? Yeah, we need to consider different points of view. Sure. Right. So the Quran says Christ wasn't crucified and the Bible says that he was. Sure. We look at the evidence, the evidence supports the biblical position. So in that sense, we would decide that the Christian worldview correlates to reality in terms of our understanding of history and the historical evidence and therefore the Christian position is sure, true and it's more likely because there's the records like Christian for example Jesus yeah. yeah. sure right but now, that's yeah. this wasn't the Christian or I know that's what makes my argument so strong so yeah when your enemies agree with you then, then that makes your argument strong. So in terms of in terms of our now we go back to your thought experiment, like you've been a devil worshiper and you come out with an alternative history. Yeah, yeah. Every ideology has an alternative history. The communists have a view of history, the Hegelian history. The Muslims have a view of history, Islamic history. The Christians have a view of history, Christian history. Everyone has a different view of history. You have a view of history. Your view of history is, I'm not sure about anything. Uh, Are you point, sure? Yes. The point is... That's your problem. The point is, it's not a problem. It is a problem. But it is, it is a problem. A wise man's doubt is infinitely more valuable than a full circle. Let, let us, unless, only if there is a But let's move on. In terms of history, in terms of history, when we are looking at history, we look for the evidence, the documents, the testimony of the people there at the time. About the life of Jesus, our evidence is the four Gospels. We don't have other commendable evidence apart from the, 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 the writings of the apostles about the life of Jesus. Fantastic. It's basically the only uh, believable source. And all, so when we use this evidence to glean about the life of Jesus, I stand in a position where there is evidence to support my beliefs, such as the Gospel of Luke and the Virgin Birth. I dismiss the Quran and its claim to the Virgin Birth. Well, of course you do, you're a Christian. Yes, exactly. But if I wanted to, I could try to marshal it to curry favour with the Muslims. But I don't have to. I know, I don't because it's illogical. If the Quran just sky is blue, he'll dismiss it. Because it, 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 I'm not, no, let's, not, let, let's, uh, that, that, let's that, talk that's Bob for you. I think we're going on the right track this time. So in terms of in terms of examination of the evidence, I stand from a position of evidence. For you to dismiss that evidence, you have to give me good reason to dismiss the evidence that I do have. Or you have to have stronger evidence for a different opinion. All right. Well, now let me, let me do that. Okay, go on. Right, let's go. So, about the evidence, the evidence that is written in the Bible about the birth of Jesus Christ and all that stuff, the Virgin Mary birthing, you know, she was a virgin, the Holy Spirit impregnated, yeah. right? Excellent. Maybe that it's written there. Okay. Maybe use the word impregnated. Okay, sure. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, she becomes I know pregnant. What I know what you mean. She becomes pregnant. According to uh, actual medical science that we have tried and tested and we can, it's something palpable, something we can perceive in the real world right now and all the scientists claim this, that it has not been done, that the Holy Spirit has impregnated anyone, at least not in our experience, 
right now of the scientists, of the modern science that we have, I think it's I think, safe to say... Pa Pablo, Jolene sorry, Jolene I, think, I think Bob is failing to defend his position. Me, if you're talking to me... The, the, the fact, that, religious, the fact that he's insisting that... Agnan, go away, mate. No one's talking You can go next. You can go yeah, yeah, so we can say well, later. Can go just want to add something very quickly, so, and I'll go. In terms, it's in not terms a naturalistic, of, in terms it's of not a naturalistic event. Faith. I don't know why he's not saying that. I was just about to. Okay. Now Thank you can say. I, I didn't go ahead. Go so, ahead. Yeah, go and finish your point because Adnan's okay. been rude nice, as always. Nice, nice. No, no, I just wanted to add this in. So I just wanted to help you. The evidence we have, according to our personal experience of each and every person, and according to the medical experience and experiments that we have, I think it's safe to say that the part of the Bible that speaks about the birth of Jesus can be at least moderately trusted because it sounds, it's not contradicted directly by the experiments done by the scientists nowadays. Now, the birth of a the Allow virgin me to gives and to, to, to a child from the Holy Spirit that contradicts Allow me to reply, our experiments nowadays. Allow me to... Adnan did steal my thunder. He did steal my thunder, to be fair. But, 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 he's, but the point that makes is right. The, the event that we're talking about is a miracle. And what you're essentially saying is because we can't scientifically reproduce a miracle, that therefore miracles can't happen. That is exactly what I'm saying. And that is a fallacy. Because a miracle, by definition, is not something that man can replicate. They are, by definition, supernatural events. Supernatural events do not occur in nature. That's why they are called supernatural. Then why we trust them? No, hold on one second. Your fallacy is that because we cannot replicate a supernatural event in a lab, that therefore they don't happen. And that is a falsity. That is a... a, 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 a it's a fallacy. Again, it's just a fallacy. And also what you're saying, again, which is a fallacy, is that our only way of knowing what is real is to use science. And I am saying that that is not the case. Reality is in a broader scope than simply scientific knowledge. Because scientific knowledge is very narrow in its explanatory power. It can only talk about the material world of cause and effect. It can be proved. It cannot. It cannot be proved. It depends purely it on your cannot. choice. It you believe. You, you want to believe. You want to believe. That's why you believe. Okay. You can be a child. You can keep throwing your tantrum. It cannot. You cannot. It cannot. Go on. Go on. How much longer are you going to do this? It cannot. Is it a lie? It's not top. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's respect the text. It cannot. It cannot speak about anything outside of the material world. What we are talking about is a miracle that came from outside of the material world. There are many things that we know to be true in our everyday existence that is not explained by science. You can't prove to me that your mother loves you, but I believe that your mother loves you. You can't prove to me scientifically that your mother loves you, but I'm sure you believe that your mother loves you. I can prove that my mother feels something for me. You can prove that she feels something for you, but I can you even prove that, that she feels love. something positive for me. Because she feels happiness when I'm with her. You can prove the release of a chemical. But that is not the same as proof. Of, but you can't prove that that release of the chemical is connected to you. Yeah, you can. No, you put me near her, chemical. You put me away from her, no chemical. No, Simple. hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on. You can you can assert that, and there's very good reason to believe that it's true. I'm not denying it. I'm yeah, but it's not 100%. True. I'm not making the argument. Yeah. It's very likely. Yeah, exactly. But very likely is good enough. Agreed? Yes. Right. So very likely, if the evidence is that there is a God, and the evidence is that that God interacts in nature, and the evidence is that that God um, has revealed himself through Jesus Christ, the evidence is, therefore, very likely of the Virgin Mary. No. I mean, what is the Christian faith built upon? Faith. As you said, Christian faith. No, the Christian faith is built upon what? What event? Uh, the resurrection. Ah, oh, okay, then. Okay, fine. No, but if he wasn't born, uh, born he would be resurrected. That was the point I was making earlier about the fact that we know that Jesus was born. But anyway, so I think, I think I'm kind of right about that. I mean, he was born, and after that he was di he died, he got resurrected. At least that's what people believe, some people. But your, 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 your perspective, your perspective is too narrow. Because it doesn't account sure. for the fullness of human Says the guy who only believes in Christian history. I believe in Christian history and Christian historians back me up. That's it, that's narrow. 
so I know that it must Brother, be I'm not denying that I haven't got my critical 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 Of course, so why are you calling me narrow-minded when you're even more narrow-minded? I never said you were narrow-minded. I said you were hypocritically claiming a culture that wasn't your own. But what I said, I just want to address that point. Go ahead. Because, yes, it did sound like a person. And I want to apologise. No, it's fine, it's fine. No, 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 I want to apologise for that because that isn't the way that I meant it. I do mean it. I do mean it, but not as a personal thing. What I'm saying is that people that celebrate Christmas by just having a meal or just giving out presents, they are being two-faced because what they're doing is they are claiming something that they don't really believe in. That is what we would call a, a hypocrite in the church. It's someone who, who comes to church, does all the right things, but doesn't really believe in it. So am I forbidden from celebrating Christmas? Of course we don't forbid anyone. Well, why are anything. you complaining then? What I'm, I'm saying, not doing anything, I'm just having dinner with my friends. What, I, what I'm saying is though, that that's not celebrating Christmas. Sure, okay, then I don't celebrate Christmas. I just have dinner with my friends. There you go, that is exactly it. what you're doing. So what, you're just having been, dinner with your friends. What the hell? What have we been talking about here? That's what I told you from the very beginning. So, so are, you celebrating Christ yeah. are you celebrating Christmas? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I do stuff on Christmas with my friends. So are you I not I so are you celebrating Christmas or not? I celebrate it without believing in God. Can so I not do that? So you're not celebrating Christmas? I'm not celebrating the origin, the supposed origin of the feast, but I am celebrating the supposed the origin itself. The feast itself. Itself is a scribing value to an event. Bro, Bob, Bob, <coughs> you're celebrating essentially having Bob, a meal Bob, with your Bob, friends. I'm following Bob. Now it's 2020, do you agree with that? Never. By which calendar? My calendar. I also agree with that. Even though I'm not a Christian, does that mean I can't say it's 2020? Of course not. Of course you can. <laughs> of course you can. But what I'm saying is, bro, is that you can't claim that as your heritage. Yes, I can. All you're doing, that is being it's part of history, bro. It's, it's part, it's part of, of the church's history. Not all history is part of Christian history. When you say it's 2020, when you're saying when you're saying it's 2020, you're using the Christian calendar. Sure, yeah. Okay. Do you believe in the Christian calendar? Yeah, I do. You know who I mean, this is actually the first version of this calendar. Uh, Dennis is small. No, it was Julius Caesar. No, that's the Julius. Uh, yeah, because the Ukraine they used the Julius. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I was using the Gregorian. Yeah. Uh, it's almost the same. Dennis is small. Almost the same. No, no, Dennis is same year. We're off by 11 minutes. Sure. Yeah. It doesn't matter. 11 minutes, bro. Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't yes. matter because every hundred years, the calendar was started by Julius Caesar. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that. Exactly. So, but what are we arguing about? It's not Christian culture. It's point is, a Roman point culture. Is, my point is, you're is, culturally appropriating. No, no, no. In terms of, in terms of, in terms of the, the, the I think that when you say you're agnostic, you're disconnecting yourself to your Ukrainian heritage. Yeah. That's my what Christian heritage. Correct. Now, whatever the heritage you want to claim that's Ukrainian that's not Christian, go for it. I've got no say in that at all. Yeah? But what you can't do is claim the Christian heritage of Ukraine. That belongs to me. I'll tell you that not I can and I'll explain you why right now. Because my ancestors accepted Christianity as a tool of power. My long, my ancestors, very, very long ago, accepted the Byzantine Christianity because it was popular in those days. They needed to accept one of the main religions around them, or else the Christians or the Muslims would declare war. They sent people to the Middle East to the Muslims, but they didn't want uh, Islam because they couldn't uh, drink alcohol. Yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that's not what happened. Yes, it is what happened. No, it wasn't. Yes, yes, it is. What happened? Was, what happened they, they sent people to the Catholic Church. What was the name? They decided the not to do it. What was they the sent the people to Constantinople, Constantinople and the messengers right. came back and they said report, they, they said, felt like they were in heaven. They felt inside like of heaven. Of they, what they said was they felt that heaven had been brought to earth. Sure, what whatever, cement. And, and, so, and so, the, the, it is, and, and this, is, this is where your arguments become weak, always. <laughs> it's because you make these great generalized statements. All historians, all medical doctors, all scientists. Science. Now you're, you're just in another one. My ancestors just accepted Christianity because of power. The fact is that the Ukrainian people had a deep piety and faith in Christ. Sure, they were. After they they bled for Christ. They died after for they Christ. After they they converted. built for Christ. Yeah, after they, they converted. composed for Christ. After they they converted. painted for Christ. And before they that, traded they traded for Christ. Died they, and built they were created for, the for Christ. 
you so, there, that's what it was. So, so it wasn't, my it wasn't you, that heritage, do whatever you want with it. It doesn't it mean do whatever you want. Do you whatever have you want no with right it. to take away my own heritage from me just because you you're a Christian. Did. Man, get Not real. Me. Stop you being did. full of yourself. What are you talking about? You cut yourself Bro, off from your heritage. It's history. You it's cut culture. yourself from, from Man, that history. Man, Ukrainians accepted you Christianity because it was necessary. The Kievan Rus accepted Christianity because it was necessary. Because he was because he was looking for faith and he found one that replicated no, heaven on earth. No, because they didn't want to fight with That's the cultures around them. That's what happened. Okay, and look, Bob, Bob. In history, there's something that we need to have, which is a sense of compromise. Why? You, well, why? No, you because, don't. No, why? Sure. We don't need compromise. Sure. Obviously, obviously, a uh, religious zealot doesn't want any compromises compromise. for the week. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I mean, I, I, I kind of felt bad calling you a religious zealot, but now I don't feel bad anymore. Compromises for the week. Compromise allows us to communicate with each other in terms of history, in terms of everything. You know who else said no compromise? Hitler. The, 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 the great throwing in of Hitler's name. So what? Well, that, that's what doesn't he matter. said in his speeches, man. There will be no compromise. Lots like of that. people have said no compromise and they sure, achieve man. great things because of oh, it. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. They but listen, now we're talking about history. If you accept only Christian historians as the ones who are telling the truth, you are completely discarding all the other historians. I am saying that the Christian, I am saying that the Christian narrative of history is the right way to view history. Okay, but I spoke to some people here who said that Julius Caesar was black. Yeah. What about it? What about it? It's a bunch of bullshit. Of course it is. It is good. Thank you. But by by what you're saying, their complete belief that he was black, their complete, uh, they're completely con uh, convinced that he was black, and they're right in that, and they can't be debunked. Why would, we, why would we say it's a load of shit? We would say it's a load of shit because all the evidence is against. We have proof. We have statues. I know. We have records. Exactly. We have records. We have proof. We have evidence. I have evidence of the virgin birth in the Gospel of Luke. Tell me why it's not evidence. You believe in the Iliad? No, I don't believe in the Iliad. You consider the Iliad as a historical document? No, I don't treat it as a historical document because it doesn't pretend to be a historical Oh yeah, but it says that Troy is in the exact same spot where Troy is. And so it must be a historical document. They, they, one second, one second. Troy, the Iliad doesn't present itself as a historical document. Oh, really? It presents itself as a myth. Oh, oh, okay. Didn't the Greeks believe that all of the stuff in the Iliad actually happened? I can't speak for all the Yes, they did. It was part of their mythology. So the same mythology that they believe in, you're trying to make me believe. Does the Iliad present itself as historical? Some parts of it are historical. I'm not denying that some parts of it are historical. Does it present itself as an historical document? No. No. The Gospel of Luke presents itself as an historical document. Yeah, does it say that? Okay, look. Do you mean, okay, by historical document, do you mean that it specifically says, okay, this is not a historical document, or this is just, uh, you know, some mumbo jumbo? It doesn't say that. It doesn't, I'll show you. No, it doesn't say, it doesn't say this is the truth. Yes, it does. It doesn't say this is not the truth. Do you know the first verse, four verses of Luke? Uh, the verse of Luke. No, I'm talking about the Iliad. No, I'm talking about the Iliad, not about the Bible. But you, uh, you, that's we're not talking what I about said, Luke. man. No, Did I misunderstood you? You misunderstood. Does I Luke don't present itself as a historical? I don't know. Maybe he does. I don't remember. Yes, it does. What I do know is that the Iliad doesn't speak whether it is or is not a historical document. Right. It doesn't say this is not a historical document. But Luke does. In as much as many of them are taken to draw up a narrative concerning the matters which have been fully accomplished amongst us, even as those who from the beginning became eyewitnesses and ministers of the word have delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also, having carefully investigated all things from the first, to write them out for you in an orderly fashion, most excellent Theophilus. So if I write a document and I say this is a historical document, does it mean it's a historical document? Not necessarily. So if you're telling me not to believe this historical document, you've got to give me a good reason. No, look, Bob. It might say that it's a yeah, historical document. No good it might say it's a historical document. It doesn't matter if it says or not. It can still be not all historical documents specifically say this is a historical document. So what you're doing is no argument at all. No, I agree. Anything can be used as a historical document, but this actually states that it is in a count of. It doesn't matter if it states or not. The Muslims keep stating that they got the right version of everything. I know, but I don't.
don't believe in the Quran. Well, I don't believe, I believe in the Bible or the Quran. Right, so but what I'm saying is you argue that unless there's evidence, we can't believe it. But I'm saying that I argue evidence. unless there's evidence, it's silly to believe it. And I'm saying I have historical evidence. And then you're saying just I don't the Bible says historical this, evidence. Because, dude, just because it says this is historical evidence doesn't mean that it is historical evidence. I agree. It doesn't mean that that necessarily is what happened in history. But what I am saying to you, if I have a first century document that claims to be written because of the investigation, based upon the accounts of eyewitnesses, and then I have Pavlov in the 2020s saying it's all rubbish because science is not experimented in a way to show the Holy Spirit virgin birth. Okay, let me give you a specific then, example. Then, well, Imagine let me I write the story. Let me finish okay, Pavlov. Just finish. Just finish. What I have got is evidence and what you have is no evidence. All you have is skepticism. That's it. Just skepticism. And it's skepticism based on fallacies. Boom! Nice one, Bob. Nice one. Not real. But if I write a book about how uh, what I did last week, you know, last week I was flying in the sky. I uh, had sex with a bunch of virgins in the sky. I saw God. I high five the God. I say bye, bro. And that's it. That's what happened. I write this as a historical document. Should you trust that? Would we? Would we trust that? Should you trust that? No, we wouldn't. Why wouldn't you trust? Because it contradicts the Christian faith. No, it doesn't. I can be, dude. I can, I can, I can. I could have met Jesus up there. I could have high five Jesus. Bro, Why would you not believe me? Bro, let's let us let us just be clear. If you write a work of fiction and present it as That's history, what the Bible is. According to who? According to who it is. According to you. It's not Pavlov. believable. It has a bunch of stuff. That's not, it's believable. not believable. According to who? Okay, listen. Why would you not believe that I fly on the sky and give who, a high five to who, Jesus? Who decides? One second. I'll answer who your decides? question. Who decides, right? who decides what is believable and not believable? You? All of us decide. All of us. All of us. Right. So, what you're saying, therefore, is that you don't have a definitive criteria. No, I don't have a definitive criteria. But yet you're speaking as if you do. Because you have to as say, if I do, I'm speaking as if there's a specific set of notions that we all know that are not believable. For example, why would you not believe me if I told you that last week I was randomly flying in the sky and then I had sex with some virgins in the sky? And then I had five Jesus in the sky. Because I don't believe that there are virgins in the sky. I don't believe that human beings can fly. Those were two. Well, it seems like you believe that the human being can be born from a virgin. Correct. From the Holy Spirit. Yes, by a miracle. Yes. Because I believe in a God that carries out miracles. Can you prove, can you show me any reason not to believe in a God that can carry out miracles? No, but you can't make, show me any reason why to believe in it. That's the problem. Look, you're Brother, coming from a standpoint the testimonies, where you know the truth. The testimonies, you know the, truth. The, testimonies, the testimonies to the miraculous are legion. Well, miraculous, last week there was a miracle, bro. I just fly in the sky by a miracle. The testimonies to the miraculous are legion. Yeah? Legion. Multiple. Many. Yeah? They are legion. Now the problem with the problem with you Pavlov is that you simply anything that causes you to expand out of your rhetoric about the scientific worldview, you simply dismiss and say it's not believable. But the reality is we don't construct our sense of reality from just the scientific. You know that your mother loves you not because of any experiment. That, 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 that creation of reality between you and your mother is done at multiple levels, but none of it is a scientific experiment. Sure, but you know that it's a fact that your mother loves you. Sure, but I know with what certainty that I was born from my mother, with my mother's sperm, with my father's sperm, uh, and I was a baby in my mother's belly, and now I was born. I know that with more certainty than the fact that she loves me. Because she might be acting if she actually loves me. I agree, but let's be honest, you do believe your mother loves you? Yeah, I do believe you. So belief, certain belief, does not require evidence, agreed? Yeah, sure. But belief doesn't Sorry, construct let, let, Let's rephrase that, because I've rephrased that matter. Certain belief does not require scientific evidence. Sure. You don't need to prove everything scientifically sure, sure. to have certain but belief. history is not written by belief. History is all about belief. 
Everybody writes their own history. History is about likability. How likely it is, not likability, likability. No, history. How likely it is that Julius Caesar went to Elysia and besieged no. and then had the battle and then won. No, it's very likely. History, history, history is about the narrative that we construct around events. And we construct a narrative around events based upon predicate beliefs and values. Those things will decide the narrative that you construct around a historical event. That is how we write history. And if you don't believe me, go and study N.T. Wright. He is another Christian historian. Shame Adnan's not here to come up with his The only ones you believe. Go, no, but bro, he is a well-respected historian. He's well respected by many academics of all different kinds of persuasion. He's not an idiot. Go and read in his uh, book, the, um, the People of God in the New Testament. He goes into breaking down how we construct history. Look, Bob, I don't know if there's any. No, no, don't go look, 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 Bob. Don't go look, Bob. Don't go look, Bob. Pavlov. The fact of the matter is, everyone constructs their history. So it is not wrong to say, I agree with the history of a certain group. Because if you don't agree with the history of one group, you simply agree with the history of another group. It's things that are unbelievable. According to who? According to you. Because you won't believe me that I flied on the sky. Pavlov's just being Pavlov. Sure. Pavlov's just being Pavlov. Look at this guy appealing to the public. What are you, you traitor? Look at this trailer. We started off. We started off about whether a Ukrainian can celebrate Christmas if he doesn't believe in the birth of Jesus. Yeah. Bob thinks that we can't celebrate. But well, you're not celebrating Christmas if you don't believe in the birth of Jesus. You're, 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 you're celebrating something, but it's not Christmas. Sure, sure, sure. It's just a meal with your friends. That's all you're celebrating. Bob, why don't you believe? Do you celebrate Christmas? Do you believe in the birth of Jesus Christ? There you go. That's what celebrating. You believe Christmas. in the divinity of Jesus. Huh? You do? Okay, sure. He's like you. Yes, sure, whatever. No, he's <laughs> yes, he's sure, like whatever. You. He's like you. you want, there's no discussion here. He's basically the same idea. There is a discussion. We're having a discussion. No, no, not, with, not, not with you guys. Because we will share the same thing. We will. Okay. Oh, Have love. Guy. Have love. Guy. Guy. Trying to irritate. I'm not. I'm not going to go why, on. Why don't you believe me that I fly in the sky last week? I don't believe you, you can fly. Why not? Because I have no reason to believe that you can fly. Do you have a reason to believe in the virgin birth? Yes. Yes. Because of the resurrection. What's the difference? What's the difference? Because of the resurrection. What do you mean? Why do you believe in the resurrection? I believe in the resurrection because there were people who had no cultural uh, reason to believe that a man would rise from the dead and yet despite the fact that they had seen their Messiah killed and died on a cross, that they came to believe that that same person had risen from the dead. And I believe that the reason why they came to that belief is because it really happened. And if a man can rise from the dead, then a virgin can give birth to a child. Uh, if I find a document saying that Julius Caesar flied in the sky for a week and captured the goal, uh, the goals with lightning strikes that he sent from his eyeball, should I believe in the idea? So, I mean, it's something that's said by the goals. The, the goals hated Julius Caesar if they say something like that. No, if they, don't say like that, that they, don't. they don't. They don't. But if it happens, should I believe it? What, 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 hold on one second. You got to deal with the resurrection. What convinced the very, very first people that ever said that Jesus has come back from the dead? What convinced them to do that? <coughs> you don't know. Probably Jesus you know, was very charismatic and they decided to believe in this. So you're saying they lied? Or maybe, or maybe, just maybe, this is just, you know, a possibility. The book got changed. Are you saying they lied? No, I'm saying the book might have started to change. Which theory do you want me to challenge? The, the book, which one do you want me to challenge? Let's challenge the theory that the book got changed. Let's deal with the challenge that the book got changed. Okay, right. Who are the, some of the earliest people that quote from the New Testament? The apostles. Or the people who no, wrote. the apostles wrote the New Testament. Pardon. Try to keep up. What do we, what do who mean? quoted from the New Testament? Okay, who quoted? Ignatius, Polycarp, Clement of Rome. Who are they? Great question. Clement of Rome was writing in 90 AD. Ignatius was writing in 138. 
uh, Papias was writing in 1980. We have fragments of his writings Papias through preserved through his students. Clement of Rome, we have uh, examples of his letters that have been preserved by the church. Ignatius and Irenaeus are also people who lived in the first century. So between the year 100 and the year, sorry, the year, uh, sorry, yes, the year 100 to the year 200. Excellent. So there were many people. One second. Made of the time. One second. One second. The reason why we know that they didn't change the text is because if you read the gospel carefully, if you read all the gospels carefully, it's clear that people believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ before the gospel was written. They still might have changed the text. One second. They might have written in the text that they believed when actually they didn't. One second. You're just, you're just throwing out any fancy the theory now. Hold on one second. Pavlov, one second. Let's go back to Luke again. You're not going to pull out the Bible, are you? Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> It's unfortunate, it's unfortunate. Well, you but if you trust the Bible with every single thing about your life. According to who? According to reason. According to whose reason? According to scientific reason. According, uh, according to things to you can check. According to scientific reason. According to likelihood. According to scientific reason, I, I shouldn't believe there's a thing called love, but you know, I do. Um, right, science doesn't tell you you shouldn't believe in love. Have love. Try to keep up. Listen, I'll try. I'll try. Right. In as much as many have invested, in as much as many have undertaken to draw up a narrative concerning the matters which have been fully accomplished amongst us, even as those who from the beginning were became eyewitnesses and ministers of the word have delivered them to us. Now just think on those two verses for a moment. It's saying that there are a community of people who believe the things of this book before this book was written. In other words, the belief came first and then the book was written. But if the person who One was second, have love. What you're saying, what you're saying is that the book came first and then the belief. No, I'm saying the guy who wrote the book might have lied. Right, so the guy that wrote this book might have lied. So he inserted this to make it look like it preceded the belief. It's possible, but it's unlikely. What do you mean it's unlikely? Bear in mind, you, look, the best uh, case show you it's unlikely is to say 50-50. No, no, I don't need to, because I have other evidence and you don't. So, 1 Corinthians 15. You know, there was somebody who wrote this book. And why do you trust to every single small part of the book? One, because here's where your argument falls down. You will still go back to the book that I'm doubting to prove the righteousness of the book. You can't possibly not understand where this argument is for. Pavlov. Go ahead. There's more than one book in here. Sure. Written by more than one author. Written at more than one time. Now, you said, well, what happens if someone just changed this bit of the... Firstly, let's just do this step by step. Would you agree, would you agree that at the face of the text, just the text itself on its own, that it is saying that the community believes before the book is written? That the community believes that there are people that believe before the gospel of Luke. Necessarily. Let's read it again. Let's read it carefully. Bob, 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 Bob. You're stop just it. running stop away. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You are Let's running away back into the book. No, brother. This is your problem. You yeah, can't brother, think outside running. of the Bible. Come on, Pavlov. Close the Bible. Come on, Pavlov. 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 Come on. Close the Bible. No, we're making an argument. I'm doubting how much you can trust the Pavlov. Bible. And you're we're giving me argument. proof that you can trust the Bible in the Bible. Pavlov. Are you Listen joking? to me. I know you, you're not following Bob, it's like me having a document Pavlov. saying this document can be trusted. Pavlov. You ask me proof that this document can Pavlov. be trusted. Oh, it says the document Pavlov. can be trusted. Pavlov. The argument Pavlov. 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 <laughs> Bro. Like Shut baby, up a man. minute. Stop acting like a baby. Pavlov. He knows his name. Pavlov. Pavlov. I'm not even saying it. Pavlov. <laughs> You asked me. Pavlov! <laughs> Pavlov! <laughs> Pavlov! You asked me to test the argument that you had put out that the text had been changed. That is now what we are examining. Try to keep the up. The trustworthiness of the text. Try to keep the up. The trustworthiness of the text. Oh my You're proving God. Proving the trustworthiness Pavlov. of the text in the text. Pavlov! Nonsense. Pavlov, you put out the argument. Okay, go ahead. I'll the, the suspend text, my disbelief. I'll just listen. The text had been changed. That is what you tried to say. So let's go through this step by step. Try to keep up. Now, inasmuch. Now, I read these verses and then you said, well, it doesn't necessarily 
give evidence to the idea that the beliefs existed before the book. Now, because you've been obtuse, we have to go through this really slowly, and it's going to slow everything down. But that's fine. In as much as many sharp you'd cut yourself, in as much as many have undertaken to draw up a narrative concerning the matters which have been fully accomplished amongst us. When it says these words, draw up a narrative concerning the matters which have been fully accomplished amongst us, would you agree that what it is saying is that before this book was written, someone else had been writing about these same events? No, I'm, I'm saying what does this text tell us? This text can't be trusted 100%. Just, I'm not talking about whether you trust it, I'm just talking about but what it says. But that's what I'm talking about. Brother, we'll get there. You were the one that came out with a silly okay, argument. Sorry, so what's your point? What do you want to know? You were the, you, I'll ask you again. This text, reading this text, would it be fair that this text is saying that others had written about the matters that this book is writing that about? That is what this text Let me, you is just saying. ask me a question. Shut up and listen to the question. You have just said, let's try this again, Pavlov, honestly. We would do further in this argument if you could just shut up and listen and answer the question and then make your Don't point. argue, listen. Right, listen and then make a point. In terms of this text, would you agree that this text is saying that others had written about the matters that this text is writing about before this text was written? May I speak to you? That is what this text is saying, yes. Thank you. Right, next point. Would you also agree that when it says in this verse, even as those who from the beginning became eyewitnesses and ministers of the word have delivered them unto us, would you agree that this verse is saying that there were people who were eyewitnesses that delivered these matters unto Luke. That is what this text is saying. That is what this text is saying. Would you also agree? It seemed good to me also, having carefully in investigated all things from the first, to write them out for you in an orderly fashion, most excellent Theophilus. Would you agree that this verse is saying that He's investigated it and he's writing it for someone who already believes it in an orderly way. This text is saying, yes. right, stop. So what we've established from this text, what we've established from this text, doesn't matter how much he sets me up, you can still get away from this. Okay. So it doesn't matter. So what we've established from this text is that the text is saying that the beliefs existed before the book. The text is saying, yeah, the text right. is saying. Now you counter, you counter, your counter argument was to say someone might have changed this beginning of the verse, right? So that it made it appear that way, but it wasn't. How right. do you know? That, that, that's your counter argument. No, how do you know it was? You're going to get there. You're the one that was deliberately obtuse, and that's why this is taking sure, sure, so long. Sure, sure, sure. So. We've established what the text says. Your counter argument is that's what the text says. Yes. yes. Thank you. So then you said, well, someone may have just written it in such a fashion as to make it look like this came, the beliefs came before the book. Now I'm going to show you why you're wrong. Corinthians 15. Okay. <laughs> what does that prove? It proves nothing really. It doesn't, doesn't prove that. But it doesn't prove that it's true whether you know who wrote the book or not. The Quran is false and you know who wrote that. And it wasn't Muhammad. Yeah, it's false, says who? You? Yes. Thanks. But you do as well. Don't you? I feel very tempted to say that no, but yeah, I do think it's false. Right. <laughs> okay. So, let me just uh, get to it. Yeah, we're still doing it. Okay, so so I'm gonna I'm gonna quote now from a letter written by another source, Paul. Okay, I like him. I was named his name. Yeah. So Paul Paul was writing. Paul was writing before Luke was written. Now remember, your counter argument, your counter argument was that 
the beginning of Luke was written in such a way as to make it appear that the beliefs came before Luke. Which my argument is that the whole book can't be trusted. I'm not, and it doesn't you're matter changing your I'm argument. not changing well, anything. Changing I'm telling you to argument. get out of your Bible changing and your argument, Pablo. Look, Luke, at the, look at this guy Paul, screaming and Paul shouting. Was written, <laughs> Paul was written years before Luke wrote his gospel. No matter what it says there, man. It's listen, 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 listen very carefully. Now, now I make known to you, brothers, the gospel which I announced to you, which you received, in which also you stand, through which you also are being saved, if you hold fast the word which I announced to you as the gospel, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered to you, first of all, that which also I received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day according to the scripture, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve, then he appeared to over 500 brothers at one time, of whom the majority remain until now, but some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James and to all the apostles, and last of all he appeared to me also, as it were, to one born prematurely. Now, Paul is writing to a community that he has founded on a belief. He is writing to them about a belief that he himself has received. He is writing before Luke and he is saying the same as Luke that Christ has died and risen from the dead. That means that when Luke says that Christ has died and risen from the dead, it isn't something that he has invented for people to believe. It is something that people believe and then they wrote about it. Your counterpoint. I don't trust the book. You don't trust the book. Look, Bob, it doesn't matter how many arguments from the book you give me to defend the book. It doesn't matter. And you're from the very beginning. No. It's a waste of time no. showing me parts of the Bible. not because you've forgotten how we got onto this. Well, I didn't forget. I was telling you, how did you, you get, get out of the Bible? How did you get onto this? I was telling you, you because of the things outside of the Bible. No, that's not how we got onto this. And the record will show how did we get onto this. We got onto this because I said that the New Testament is evidence of Christ's resurrection and evidence of his crucifixion. And then you said that it isn't. You said that it isn't, that it could have been tampered with. Yes, sir. So now we're arguing about tampering to the text. Sure. That's what we're talking about. So I do remember how we got onto this, and you don't remember. Well, the how whole book got tampered, tampered with. So, the whole book, let's deal with that. The whole book. It wasn't a single book. It is multiple letters and multiple books written at different times. Thank you, yes, but this book, written, this specific book, was written apparently by one person. No, it wasn't. The Bibles we have nowadays no, were compiled together by the same people who agreed upon a certain set of theories. When was the canon decided, Pavlov? It does matter, Pavlov, because you're making an argument that somebody tampered with the book. It's possible, you can't just If the book was not saying it did, but I'm saying it's possible. Pavlov, it is impossible. The reason why it is impossible that someone tampered with the book is for the following reasons. Try to keep up. One, that many people wrote the book I know about. No, you haven't listened, Pavlov. Thanks. Okay. One, you're going to hate me for this. But yes, many people wrote the book. Two, many people wrote the book independently of one another. Three, those books, once they had been written, were being copied without any systematic control or centralized authority. Four, those documents spread around the Roman Empire very quickly. Those documents are evidence to the fact of, of, of what we call the tenacity of the text, i.e. it was being copied and recopied very quickly by lots of people, some of them professionally, lots of them not professionally, which is why we have textual uh, manuscript uh, differences between ancient manuscripts. But what that shows is that no one at any time had the means to manipulate the text in the way that you're suggesting to create some kind of conspiracy. It was born of genuine belief. So now we come back to my original question. Where did the genuine belief come from? 
the genuine belief yeah. came from mythology. That's what this is, mythology. It was written by many people, just like the Quran. Now, this specific book, let's look, let's look at the, who wrote this specific book, where's the author, the person who's compiled everything. It's many books. Exactly. It's many books, Papa. No, Bob, it's many books. It's many, that's what you think. You think it's many books, but you have no proof of that. No, we do have proof of that. We do have proof of that, Pavel. Honestly, honestly, you're a pseudo-intellectual. A person, a person who studies history needs to accept things with a grain of salt. Needs to accept the possibility they might be wrong about something. That's why we need to see different sources. Are you saying this? Are you, you are a person what? who will not accept different sources. What is the because Bible? You're completely what, 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 what because word because Bible you're very big-headed, Bob. What does the word forward, Bible you're saying, mean? The Bible says what does one, the word Bible mean? It doesn't matter what it means. Yes, it does, does matter. matter what it means. I bet he knows what Bible means. It doesn't matter what it means. Yeah, not bad. It means it doesn't library. matter what it means. It's plural. It doesn't matter it does, what it means. Because you're saying, you're people saying could have still tempered with the text that you're when? reading there. When? I don't know when. You can't disprove it. Who? Just as I can't prove it. Wait, I the can prove it. Is, no, no, no. The difference you, I is, can prove it. you claim you I have absolute truth. I don't claim to have absolute I, I, truth. I, can I claim it. that what I'm saying is more likely than what you're saying. I can prove it. I can prove it. But it doesn't matter how many parts of the Bible you show me. The Bible is... You're, look, I told you already. It's like having a text, and in the text it's written, yes, you can trust this text. I can prove it. It's a bunch of below. I can prove it. You can say that as much as you want. It doesn't mean and it doesn't matter how much you talk, when you stop talking, I will still be able to prove it. No, it So, for you to prove that the Bible has been tampered with in some sort of conspiratorial no, I don't way. need to prove it, you need to disprove it. I'm going to. I am just summarizing your silly position. In terms of proving that the Bible has been tampered with in some conspiratorial way, I didn't say that. We have just said, Yes, you did. I didn't say in some conspiratorial way. All right. Those I said words, it might have been changed. It's not trustworthy. That's what I said. Not it's not a trustworthy it might book. Have been changed. Yes. Right. You're saying that because you don't want to use to see it as evidence to the resurrection. Because you have no evidence. I have. The no, you don't have evidence. No, Bob, you're tested. showing me the Bible as historical evidence. Which it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. So are you saying... So retrospectively verified as well. Just like the Iliad is not historically correct, Pavlov. it's not followed by historians. Pavlov. You don't follow the Bible Pavlov. as a historical text, Pavlov. unless you are not Pavlov. case which you are. Pavlov. So, back to back to why the Bible is not being changed. Okay. If just as believable as the Quran never being changed. Pavlov. No, when 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 I say when I'm talking about the Bible not being changed. Let's be clear what I mean, because we have to be clear. I'm not saying there aren't textual variants. I know there are textual variants. I've talked about textual variants. In terms of the manuscript, having things added to it, the evidence is there. But in terms of the central message being changed, the idea that Christ had risen from the dead, you're suggesting, as I suggested to you, that that was a real thing, I used the New Testament as my evidence, and then you said, how do we know it's not been tampered with? That's what we're talking about. Try to stay on track, Pavlov. You're the one not staying on track. You're desperately jumping from side to side, trying to get something. Well, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let everyone who's watching like, this. Come on, boy. We'll let everyone who's watching this you, you keep doing the same Pavlov, argument, you're fleeing, you're Pavlov, fleeing from what I'm Pavlov, saying. Pavlov, you can't prove that Pavlov, it has been changed. Pavlov, Accept the truth. Pavlov, Stop lying to yourself and to the other Pavlov, people. Pavlov, in terms of I'm the tired, evidence, Bob, I'm tired. in terms of lying. the evidence, in terms of the evidence, <coughs> evidence, man. In terms of the evidence, evidence. You, see, you choose to believe. You don't even know what I'm going to say, evidence. Pavlov. It doesn't matter. You I don't already know what I'm going to say. What, what am I going to say? You're the kind of person that what believes that the Iliad is a historical document. What am, I, what am I going to say? It doesn't matter what you're going to say, Bob. What, 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 what am I going to say? You already proved that you're not trustworthy. Pavlov, what am I going to say? You already proved that you're not trustworthy. What am I going to say, Pavlov? Right. So, so I'll go back to the point that I made. 
So in terms of the evidence that there wasn't some kind of tampering with the text to instill the idea of the resurrection, we have the fact that different documents written by different people independently of one another are all talking about a central message. If they are all independently talking about a central message, then that means that the belief in that message came first before the text. That means that the text reflect the belief, the text are not the source of the belief. Which means that your argument that someone tampered with the text to put into the text the idea that Jesus had been raised from the dead is false. And we know it's false because you can't prove you can't prove an original. I mean, show me this alternative if it exists. I don't need to. No, you do. I'm not the one coming with the certain point of view. You're if the you're one. You're going to argue. If you're going to marshal the argument that the text has been tampered no, with. No, I'm to marshalling the argument. No, 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 no. That's a strong man, and you know. No, it really no, wasn't. That's exactly what you're That's a strong man, and you know it. I'm telling you, anyway, let's you, move can't on prove, what you're now you can't ready. prove the text has never been tampered with, and you cannot. Not any possible conceivable way. And you're lying to the audience and no, lying to your You're mischaracterizing me. No, 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 no. You're the one that's mischaracterizing me. You keep calling me an uh, pseudo intellectual. You're, 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 you're the only pseudo intellectual that I see, Bob. And you're, 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 you're a nutcase. If you believe in that kind of stuff, you're that a that woman gives birth to the you child appeal of God. To scientists, and you appeal to And you appeal to medicine. And you say And you appeal to historians. Oh, sorry, you're a lost cause, It's a pseudo intellectualism. In terms of in terms of the text, and then even the Muslims usually, you know, at least consider the the medical records. At least consider the text. You know, they do other uh, other kinds uh, of fallacies. Another fallacy. They, yeah, they, are, they do other fallacies. You're, you're they try to link fallacy. the Quran with actual medical facts. You're, you're, That's what the Muslims you're, you're, you're do. What you're doing fallacy. is denying Have the actual medical I facts. Just have saying, no, the religion got it right. Um, uh, I just want to say I discovered you from Jada, and I just really like your videos. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I want to say. Merry Christmas. It's still Christmas. Yeah, you're allowed to celebrate. I'm not. I'm not allowed to celebrate Christmas. Yes. I, I, well, Merry Christmas to you. Sure, thank you. Fake Merry Christmas. Yeah, well, because he, 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 the Muslims tried to convert him. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> convert who, Bob? Well, yeah, well, Bob, because he tried to convert him. Anyway, I don't know what else I can say. I don't know what else you can say. Like, an argument that you prove the veracity of a book inside of that book. I left it on the table, back, and you guys still have the same Yeah, man, we're going round and round. We're not doing any progress.